Hey, this is Lovecraft and Art. We're going to be watching some creepy TikToks tonight. So if you've been looking for a thrill, look no further because we're going to jump right in. My job in the U.S. Air Force was working in bioenvironmental engineering. So what bioenvironmental engineering is in the Air Force is equivalent to that of the OSHA and the EPA, if you're familiar with that. So we were an embedded liaison to make sure that we were tracking all of the aspects and impacts of the military, meaning what is the military doing and how is it impacting the environment because we were accountable for that. One day I was going through that computer system, which if you want to look it up, it's called an Air Force Form 3952. It is the approval of ha hazardous materials. I was finding tons and tons tons of large quantities of aluminum, barium, strontium in the forms of oxides and sulfates. So I started asking questions and at that point my demonization began. You know, I, I made my rank, I was decorated, I was a non-commissioned officer of the quarter, I won lots of awards, I had no reason for anyone to attempt to demonize me. So then I get moved over to the other Air Logistics Center, there's only two in the Air Force, which is in Warner Robins, Georgia. This kind of carried with me, and I thought, you know what, should I revisit this? Is it worth it? Did I hit something? Maybe it's need to know. I started finding the same things at Robins Air Force Base. I was now doing some more investigation work. Part of what I did was to use a high volume air sampler to air sample um, up to, I'd say, a football field in about 10 minutes. I also conducted soil sampling because I thought, you know, if, if this is real and they are spraying this, it's going to get to the ground. So I conducted air sampling, I conducted soil sampling, and I was getting high levels of these contaminants. When I started asking the question again under a new commander, I never in my life thought I would have somebody look me in the face and tell me, I am questioning you. Is there something wrong with you? You've been looking really depressed lately. You know I can put you under mental evaluation for a, up to 120 days. Who would take care of your daughter? Because I was divorced at the time. As soon as I heard that, I knew. It validated everything I ever thought. And I thought, I've spent nine years of my life trying to protect human health and here we are violating law after law after law just sitting here instead of protecting the people we are poisoning the people so I just want everyone to know and understand that of all things of all the freedoms that we are losing geoengineering is the number one issue that we are facing because you can have guns and money and you can have everything. If you don't have food and water and you are dying of respiratory or neurological illnesses, what does it matter? So you've heard about vaccines and you'll hear you know, about smart meters and you'll hear about other issues like fracking. These are all systemic effects. We are getting overexposed to toxins. People will tell you fluoride's in the water, but it's not a lot. It is a lot because you're getting it everywhere in your food, you know, water that you drink. Everything is, excuse me, is washed with that water. And you're getting your vaccines. All this, it's a coupled systemic effect, and our bodies cannot metabolize these toxins. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to my story. And I will continue to shout from the rooftops. I don't care how many jobs I lose. I don't care how many friends or family I lose. Because I took an oath. And in nine years, I was not able to honor that oath. But I am today. Everybody said, cocaine bear wasn't real. But it was. It was very real. And now, this is some sort of new government super weapon. Obviously, to take out everyone that they have problems with. We've never seen a coked up shark before, until now. We're in big trouble, people. It's not safe to go back in the water.
some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their fucking club. That pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are and they definitely know who they are. Um, a lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. So, ever since, ever since I put out the contract with Black America, you know they've been fucking with me. Here and there, this and that. But it's cool, you know. <laughs> I expect that. Um, you know, I've been working with, you know, on the big three for a long time. And you know how they've been fucking with me with that. I done made it. You know, plain, simple, and clear what they've been doing. You know, the NBA been fucking with us. Now, a lot of people might say, like, well, but Cube, you want to work with the NBA. Really, I don't give a fuck about working with the NBA. What I want them to do when I say work with us is to stop working against us. Stop doing that bullshit behind the scenes that we know you're doing. Um... Mainstream media, you know, they ain't fucking with us. And that's cool. We can do it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We still on the rise without these motherfuckers. So we don't need them. You don't need them. You know, so what am I going to do to deal with these motherfucking gatekeepers? Well, what I'm going to do is go on a fuck the gatekeepers podcast tour and I'm going to go talk to everybody, everybody, you know, and get a chance to get my message out to the people, um, be able to let people hear from me, you know, and, and, you know, you might agree, you might not, but the, the important thing is you know, for me to go on these platforms, say what I feel about what I think. And, you know, some people may get pissed off because I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not playing. And um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a crazy summer. It's going to be fun. Appreciate y'all. Always support the big three. Hopefully I'm doing stuff that you guys dig. You know, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for people that's bored as fuck in the summer with summer sports and want something cool like the big three. So here we are. Appreciate you. Much love, much respect from your homeboy Ice Cube. Remember that. That card is what? I'm going to pick a card. I'm going to call it out. And then I'm going to just... Find it, okay? Four of hearts. Six of hearts. It's very close. I'm going to try it two more times. Four of hearts. Six of diamonds. One more time. Four of hearts. All right. Try to figure something out that's not working. Mandela Effect PT1. Brand names.